Hey, welcome back guys, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. So check this out, we've been Builders Hall 5 now for about 3 days, and admittedly we are kind of like, you know, 50% done. We've only upgraded about 50% of the base, we've got low level walls, and even some low level defences, but you would not believe it. The base you are looking at on screen right now, this Builders Hall 5 base, was designed by me about 6 hours ago, and it is currently standing undefeated. I haven't had a single loss using this base. So if we go into the battle log, you can see if we scroll all the way down to the last loss we had, it was here. So let's go ahead and click the replay, and you can see it was a completely different base design. So the base you're seeing is currently undefeated, and at some point, every single person who's watching this episode is gonna be Builders Hall level five, guys. So this video could come in very handy. Now, what we're gonna do, we're going to get ourselves into some live attacks in a couple of moments and we're going to check out the replays when they attack our base and you're going to see why this base design works so well. So it is currently undefeated. If you've made it this far into the episode, guys, let me know down below in that comment section, what Builders Hall level are you currently? And for anyone interested, you guys voted in the last episode. You said, Tony, can you please max out your cannon carts? We just maxed out the Rage Barbarians, and the cannon carts will be going to max level next, so stay tuned for that. And we've also got a Builder Free, the only Builder Free, so we're going to upgrade something at the end of the video. But for now, let's get ourselves into a live attack. 60 Rage Barbarians, and of course, a Battle Machine. So just whilst we're searching for a base, if you are new to the channel, we have a 1.75 million subscriber giveaway going on right now guys we're giving away a macbook pro a microphone and a hd recorder so if you want to be a youtuber and you want the chance to win those prizes all you need to do leave a like on the episode just to show some support and get some good luck and subscribe to the channel that is it guys subscribe to the channel help us reach 1.75 million subs and stay tuned so let's do this Let's go. Where should we attack from? We're going to attack and try and take out this uh, this quad cannon. So I'm going to take out that building using those barbarians. And we're also going to take out that little stand. Well, we'll get it in a minute. Here we go. We've also activated some of those mines, so that's cool. And then the, uh, the battle machine is going to go in. We're going to take out that gold storage there using some more raged barbarians. Walls are very low level. And now we're going to go into the base. Not sending in all the troops. We're going to send in some. And we're going to use the Battle Machine's ability, guys. Rest of the Barbarians, going to kind of spread them out. But we want to make sure the Crusher doesn't kill them. We need the uh, the Battle Machine to actually take out the Crusher, guys. So we're not going to waste these Barbarians. Going to send some more in around the base. But let's keep a couple back. Here we go. There goes the Battle Machine's ability. Should take out that Crusher. There it goes. And the final few Barbarians coming in from the back. So we three-start this base. Let's find out if we're going to be undefeated. Are we going to be undefeated, guys? Let's check it. So here we go. Your attack. Triple star in the bag. We cannot lose. And we got ourselves a victory. He got a 36% zero star. So uh, he's got decent level troops, level 7 barbarians. But we've actually been attacked by max level giants, guys. So let me show you that. If we go into the attack log, into the battle log, let me show you the most powerful army used against us. Here we go. Max level cannon carts, max level giants, and a max level battle machine. And Lee only got 65%. Now you have to remember, my base doesn't even have max cannons, doesn't have max archer. It has max nothing. There's not a single defense in this base, which is max level, guys. So this really is an incredible base design. And let me try and show you why. So we got the spring traps and the push traps all over the base, all connecting to one another to make sure we can take out as many troops as possible. And I would say the best thing to do is actually divide the mortar, the crusher, and the double cannons into separate compartments because they are the three heaviest defenses in the base and you don't want to put them all together. So check it out, his battle machine in the center is actually about to get taken out, guys, by a crusher and a double cannon. He's got a couple of cannon carts left going around the base, guys, but they're going to get picked off and it looks like it's pretty much game over for cool from uh, Andreas2004. And there goes the final cannon cart straight into the center. Double cannon going to take it out, and it is game over. So you can see this base is pretty damn insane. I haven't made this up, guys. I have no idea why it's, uh, you know, so damn OP, but it really does appear to be pretty incredible. So here we go, another replay. Max level giants, level 8 cannon carts, max archers, max battle machine, and of course, max barbarians. This dude, once again, Tekken, 
pretty much got destroyed by my defense. So they all seem to like attacking from the left-hand side, which is where I predicted they were going to attack from, which is why all of our push traps and our spring traps are on this side of the base. And we're going to show you how I place them, guys. This episode is pretty much meant to help you out if you are, you know, Builders Hall 3, Builders Hall 4, coming soon to Builders Hall 5. You should find this video very helpful and maybe it's going to teach you a thing or two about base design. So check out our Crusher. Going to take out all those barbarians around the battle machine. And the dude's pretty much lost every single one of his troops. I mean, he has a couple of cannon carts left alive, but that's pretty much it. And his battle machine's about to go down in the center. Double cannon going to take out the cannon cart. Archers going down left, right and center as well. He's got a cannon cart down the bottom, but it's a little bit slow. Just about takes out my archer tower. Let's go quad speed here, guys. He's got two units left on the right-hand side, but they're about to come in contact with our double cannon, and they are history. For the second, third, fourth, fifth time in a row, this base is standing undefeated. So let me just show you the push traps and the spring traps and the mines before we get ourselves into another live attack. So we got an air mine there just to protect the, uh, the actual firecracker just in case, I don't know, they overpower us with a baby dragon. We got a big mine there. We got a push trap going straight onto a spring trap, another push trap going straight onto a spring trap, another push trap going straight onto a spring trap, and they are all around the left hand side of the base. This is the most, you know, I don't know why, but everyone seems to want to take on the town hall nice and early. Obviously, it, it, it doesn't work well for them guys, I mean they're getting completely destroyed. So let's do this, let's get ourselves into another live attack and see if we can continue to stay undefeated, and I think for the first time ever, we are about to breach 1,000 trophies, so that is cool, and we can possibly do some upgrades inside of the base. We've got the cannon carts going to level 3, I think, and we've got a builder free. We've got the one and only builder free, so we can do an upgrade and uh, possibly gem it. Who knows? We'll wait and see what happens. Searching for an opponent taking a while, but we'll be back, guys. Stay tuned. So check it out. We've landed on this dude. He's called Storm Sheng from Straw Hat. And he's got his crusher under... Oh, he's so dead. This this guy is going to regret upgrading that crusher. You know what? Let's just... Let's just spam the base and see what happens, guys. Can we do a spam attack? I've never tried it. Let's just see what happens. There goes the battle machine into the center. He's got the mortar. I didn't realize he's got a mortar, but it shouldn't be a problem. It's gone. It's gone in seconds, guys. Of course, with no crusher, these units are going to rampage through his base. Unless he's got a really lucky giant big mine somewhere that's going to kill me he's in some serious trouble so we're going to summon the battle machine's ability every single one of his defenses is in the center and i mean this is pretty much guaranteed a three star i don't even know if this guy's going to 50 percent my base so let's just wait and see his little mine goes off at the top there there goes another ability from the battle machine one shotting that wall and it looks like yeah we're pretty much guaranteed this victory so we're up to 88 percent so far he's got a little cheeky cannon on the left hand side. I don't know what level that is guys. Oh, giant mine goes up there. There goes the battle machine's ability again. You know what we're going to do after this attack? We're going to upgrade some walls guys. I think we're going to do some wall upgrades. There goes the cannon. Perfect triple star in the bag. And did we get some more loot? Yes we did. He got a 46% zero star. So we're not even going to bother watching that. Oh no, sorry. We've actually reached our loot limit. So we didn't get any extra loot. So that's kind of sad. But we're only one attack away from possibly entering the 1,000 uh, 1, trophy mark. So we got our, uh, our, night, our clock sorry, going for 8 minutes for free. So I better upgrade something. What should we upgrade? Let's just upgrade a cannon. It's only going to take 2 hours, guys. And it's on 10 times speed, so we'll only take like 20 minutes or, you know, 10, 15 minutes. So that's cool. So let's head back over. And um, what was I about to do? Oh, yeah, it's time to upgrade the walls, guys. But we've only got 78,000 gold. So let's just gem that cannon i don't even know why we upgraded that and let's look for these walls so they're only going to cost oh they cost a hundred thousand a piece that's quite a lot oh i thought they were ten thousand a piece okay so we can't really afford those walls unless we max out our uh, our treasury guys i think we're going to do it because we've already reached our loot limit and i don't really want to wait 24 hours to get more loot that kind of sucks so let's do this let's upgrade these walls i think we have about six or seven of them left and then every wall should be level three so that's decent at least and we're, so we've got what is it 400,000 gold left let's upgrade these ones you know what I think we might need to buy some more gold guys maybe we'll leave it at that because how many have we got left one two three we've got three left but I want to do another upgrade and oh no four left 
You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just buy some more gold. We've just spent, what is it, like $20 on gold. It's incredible how much money this game makes. So there we go, guys. Another 1,000 gems on gold. But we can, of course, upgrade the final walls to level 3. And now the base is looking just a little bit stronger. It's not looking, you know, OP, but it's a little bit stronger. So we have the choice. Do we upgrade the, uh, the Trimortar or should we upgrade the Double Cannon? I think we're going to do the Double Cannon. There's nothing really else. We could do a push trap. You know what? Let's do that, guys. That's only going to take five minutes. And that's level two. That's level one as well. Let's upgrade this one to level two. That's already level two. That's cool. Spring trap. We can upgrade that. That is going to go to also level two. And we're going to upgrade this spring trap here to level two. So that sucked up, a, uh, you know, another couple of hundred gems. So we're left with 7,461 gems. And we were wanting to actually max out this crusher but in order to max it out i think i need to upgrade my gold storages so let's do that let's just spend some gems guys i mean we may as well we've got loads of gems inside of our wallet there we go if you do want some free gems there is a link down below in the description box but i believe that should take us to a max level crusher let's find out have we got 1.2 million yes we do just about and we can max out the crusher so level 5 crusher once that is completed in two days we're probably going to gem it not yet because it's going to be a complete waste of gems we're probably going to gem it at some point but once it's completed we're actually going to create a max level crusher troll base and it should pretty much rip loads of troops apart so let's do this one final live attack guys can we pick up another victory? Currently still undefeated with this base. No one has beaten us. As long as I can three star every single base I attack, then uh, we can't lose. It's impossible. And we've landed and this dude is so wrecked. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a walk in the park. Let's just spam these in. Summon the, uh, the ability of the battle machine. And it's so, we're just bullying bases right now. This is pure bullying. The Crusher gets taken out. As soon as the Crusher goes down, it's literally impossible to lose. We're going to summon the uh, the Battle Machine's ability just before he dies. One shot to the Archer Tower. Town Hall's about to go down. Cannon getting taken out by the Rage Barbarians. One Builder's Heart left and a Gold Collector. And it is game over. Not too bad. That was like the quickest attack we've ever had. And that's grabbed me. Let's see how many trophies we got. If we got 24 trophies, sorry, 20, yeah, 24 trophies, that will take us into... The 1,000 trophy mark, guys. But the current leader, 3,386. Let's see what his base looks like. Yep, that's pretty much 100% maxed out. He's got level 5. Everything is level 5, I'm guessing. Yeah, everything's level 5, guys. Level 5 walls. Level 5 target. No, I'm only joking. But everything is uh, level 5. Level 5 gem mine. Level 5 clock tower. So let's go back home. Did we get a victory? I think we're still waiting. And there we go, guys. Champion bonus. 31 trophies. He got 26%. Decent level troops. And I think we just got ourselves a, a reward. Champion builder. Achieve a total of 1,000 trophies in the versus battles. And then the next one is achieve a total of uh, 3,000 3, trophies in versus battles. And you get 5,000 experience points. So that's cool. We're going to complete that within the next 30 days. So uh, I will see you shortly for another episode, guys. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Peace out.